so as you can see we have a blank project nothing from start to end and we're going to start with our text animation so first we have to have show full view area on that's good it's on and you have to make sure it's a little less than fit so I'm going to go here to 50 25 percent there this is the size you want that way you can see how big how big the text is compared to the size of the entire thing okay so let's get started so first you need to have your text of course so what you're gonna do you're gonna click on this T here and you get to decide what kind of text you want you can have 3d text which would look like this let me get the size up first so to get the size up you have inspector go here and you bring the size okay there now I'll show. There. So that's what 3D text would look like here. And this is what regular text would look like here. There. It's not too much of a difference unless you actually change the font, so I'm going to stick with regular. So I'm going to write here, animation, and we're going to animate that. So we're going to click the escape key, and now we're going to move this where we want. Okay? And remember, if I'm going to show you what happens if we don't have show full view area. If we don't have show full view area, you can't tell the difference here. But when you move it across, it disappears, because it shows that. In the final video, you're not going to be able to see it, but without that, it's hard to animate it. So, for purposes of making it, you have to have show for the area on. Okay, so now you can see, we have it all there, we just need to animate it. So what we're going to do, we're just going to do something simple. Animation is just going to go across the screen. Okay, so let's get started. So in order to do that, we have to place a keyframe at the beginning and where we want the animation to stop okay so how do we do that we can either go to inspector first we click on animation go to inspector and place a keyframe on position here and then go to where we want it to end and then place a keyframe or we could actually which is simpler if you want to do more than one thing you could do record so that red button here with the keyframe inside the circle that kind of looks like a cue is record so you're going to click that you're going to go where you want it to you want the animation to end to be more specific and you're going to take animation there should be a red line coming up there and you're going to try and get into a straight line and we're going to get it off the screen here like that that looks good we're going to click stop recording and we're going to watch. So first we're going to click anywhere else so we don't see all the things that went into it. And let's watch. So that looks a little too fast. It's a little blurry. So now if you move the keyframe, this is where it was. If you move it here, it will become faster. If you move it here, it will become slower. So here's when you want it to be slower. Let's watch. There you go. That looks good to me. Okay. Now remember, like I said, if you want to do record, then you can do more than one thing. Okay. So, we're going to click record here. And we are going to move that here. And we're going to go to animation we're gonna click there and now we can see everything that's there we're going to go to this scale which is also size so actually it's easier to go to text here go to size and we're going to reduce that to zero to where you can't see okay now let's see what we did so let's go record stop recording let's go back here let's see how it looks There you go. Yep. So that is how to do simple 
animation there. Okay, and of course you can do more than one thing in a project. So after we have this done, we can go a little farther there and have motion come up. Right, so we have it there. We're going to click title. I'm going to go here and we're going to write motion. Of course it's too small for me to see what I'm writing. How do I know what I'm writing? I can see it right there. It tells me there. Now, I'm going to click the escape key. Now we're going to, of course, increase the size. Okay, and this one I want it to be bigger, so we're going to go to properties in the inspector and go to scale and make it even bigger, more than the maximum size. I'm going to move that to the middle of the screen here. Okay, so that's about the middle there. Okay, well, here and there is okay. Okay, now we're going to go and get this size small. Okay, so we're going to make this really small there. Then we're going to click record. Then we're going to go a little here. And we're going to have it go big where we wanted it which would be like that we're gonna click stop record and see what we did here alright there you go now of course again we can add to what we had there so we can go here record go to where this ended right there click on motion Make sure you're not clicking on animation, go to motion and we're going to go and click on, actually let's go a little back here so we'll have this here is where we want this recording to end. We'll go to slant. Do you not know, let's not do that. Let's do something different. Let's do rotation, that looks good. So we're going to have this, so if we're going to do rotation, you need to move it back here again, you'll see why. I'm going to go here. And we're going to have this spin twice. Okay? Now you're going to try and get this straight by looking up where it says rotation and try and getting it to 720. I have it at 728 right now. There. So you see if I click on this, it'll say 720. And I moved it. Okay, there you go. That is 720. Okay. Now, we're going to click stop recording, and now let's see how it looks. There you go. So now let's see our entire thing. Let's see how it looks. And of course, if you want this duration, so as you can see, after this animation is done, this thing stays there. If you don't want that to happen, you can move this key there, and you're going to move it here. Now, it's going to start here the movie's gonna end there. But of course you want it to have the little there so you can actually read what's there. Okay, so now let's see how this looks completely. And of course if you want to watch it as a movie, you're going to click fit here, view and get out of show for the area, that way you can watch it as if it was a movie. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video with your friends.